Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this gorgeous gelato shawl. This easy crochet gelato shawl is made with basic crochet stitches and is the epitome of comfort and style perfect for any occasion. Whether you're strolling through a winter wonderland or attending a sophisticated evening out, this shawl will be your go-to accessory. We will also be adding this gorgeous drop leaf border, a perfect finishing touch to this exquisite shawl. Whether you're an experienced crocheter or a complete beginner, this detailed tutorial guides you through the process step by step. And yes, if you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, there available over on my website, secretyarnery.com, and you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. And if English isn't your first language, you can click this gear on the video and scroll through to find your preferred language. To make your gelato shawl, I am using gelato from Ice Yarns. It is a size 2 weight yarn. It is 100 grams microfiber acrylic. 320 meters for 100 grams. So it is quite thin, but it is also quite delicious. It feels a lot like mercerized cotton. I'll be using a four millimeter crochet hook. You will need a needle for sewing in your ends, one stitch marker to keep track of the bottom point of our shawl, and a pair of scissors. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back into where you left off, and let's get started. start by making a slip knot, leaving a long enough tail. We are going to work over it and sew it in. So a slip knot, especially if you're using the same yarn I am, this gelato is a bit slippery. So we want to really make sure we sew in all of our tails. So we're going to start with a slip knot and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So there is our chain six. I'm going to work into that very first chain we made right here on top of that slip knot, just right there. Just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. I'm holding it open with my finger and thumb so I always know where that center of the ring is. And chain one. Now into the ring and going over our tail, four single crochets. One. Two, three, and four, and into the ring, still going over our tail, wrap your yarn and make four double crochets. One, two, three, and four chain two, one and two, and four more double crochets into the center of the ring going over our tail. There's two, three, and four. So we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that first stitch to join. We're gonna slip stitch right there just pop your hook in two strands of that V on the top of your hook and slip stitch to join and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Turn your work. Are you enjoying this tutorial? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more quick and easy fun tutorials just like this. And here is our chain space. That is going to be the tip of our shawl, and we have four stitches to work into plus our chain. Wrap your yarn and into that very next stitch right here. We're going to do two double crochets. One and two. And into the next stitch, we're going to do three double crochets. So three double crochets into that next stitch. Two and three. 
And now into each of the next two stitches, just one double crochet into each. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And now here we are in our chain space. That is our bottom tip of our shawl. So we're going to do five double crochets into that space. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull your hook up, making a bigger loop so we can take our hook out. We want to check those last five double crochets, the one we did into our space, right there. So it looks like the last stitch we did into a stitch is also part of that, but just isolate that one so you have your five. And we're going to pop a stitch marker into that center stitch. That is just going to be marking the tip of your shawl or the bottom of your shawl. Pop that loop back onto your hook one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One and two. So that's one double crochet into each of those two stitches. And now we have two double crochets left. We're going to do three double crochets into each. So into that next stitch, three double crochets, all into the same stitch. There's one, two, and three, and in to the last double crochet, which is right here, we're going to do three double crochets as well. One, two, and three. So there is the beginning of our shawl, and for our next round, we're going to start windows. You can also sew in this tail if it's in your way. Just thread your needle and work your way in the opposite direction. A sharp tip needle really helps hold in your tails, but just sew it back in. Especially if you're using a slippery yarn like this gelato, you really want to make sure you sew in your tails. Even if you do work over them, they can still wiggle out. It won't undo, but you might have to trim it later on, and we just don't want to do that. So forwards and back, and then we can cut off that tail. To start a window row, chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work and into that very same stitch, right where our chain is, that very first stitch right there, we are going to do one double crochet, chain one, wrap your yarn and into the next stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and into the next stitch, one double crochet, chain one. So we have four of these stitches without any spaces in between. That's how we're going to start in the very beginning of our shawl. So now wrap your yarn, skip a stitch, and into the second, one double crochet, chain one, skip one, into the second, one double crochet, chain one, skip one, and into the second, one double crochet, chain one, skip one, and now we are where our stitch marker is. We're going to be working in to that center stitch, the very bottom of our shawl. So you can pop that stitch marker out. We're still going to skip one and go into that center stitch at the bottom of our shawl, and we're going to do one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet into that same stitch, chain one. So that is the new bottom tip of our shawl, or the new bottom of our shawl, the center. So pop your stitch marker back in just to mark that stitch. And we're going to do the same thing back up. So our last four stitches, including our chain, 
And now work your way back up along this side, doing your double crochet, chain one, skip one, until you have three stitches left. We want to do the exact same thing we did on the other side, just in the opposite order. So double crochet, chain one, skip one, all the way up until we have our three stitches left. So when you get to the end of your shawl, you'll have these stitches left. We're still going to chain one, skip one, and work in to this stitch here. That's the last one we have skipped before. Now we're going to do our chain one and one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, one double crochet into our chain. We just want to get two strands of that chain on the top of our hook. Chain one, and we're going to go right back into that same chain and do our last double crochet. So you can just check that both sides of your shawl match. So we have four empty windows with spaces and we have three windows without spaces. We just want to make sure we've done the same thing on both sides, just like that. Now we're going to be working in to our window spaces. So how we do that row, chain four, one, two, three, four, and turn your work. Now into the very first stitch, right where our chain is, we're going to do our two double crochets into the very same spot as your chain, two double crochets. One, and two, and into the space we're going to do three double crochets right into the space in between those first two double crochets. So three double crochets into the first space. There's one, two, and three. And into each space along the side, we're just going to do two double crochets into each. So we start and end different, but down the sides we do the same. So two double crochets into each space, working all the way down along the side of your shawl. There's two, and two. You can pause the video and get caught up. Two double crochets into each stitch, working all the way down along the side of your shawl, and I'll meet you when you get to your stitch marker. When you get to your stitch marker, that spot at the bottom tip of your shawl, just pop your stitch marker out and into that space, we are gonna do five double crochets. So five double crochets into the space. There's one and two, three, four, and five. Pull your hook up. We just want to find that center stitch of our five double crochets. So just wiggle in your thumb there to isolate those stitches. Find the center stitch, that third stitch back, the center of those five, just like that. Now we are ready to keep going. So loop of yarn back on your hook and shrink it down and two double crochets into each space, working all the way back along the row, all along, two double crochets into each. So you can pause the video and keep working along and I'll meet you when you have this last space left. When you have your last space left, we're gonna do three double crochets into the space. One, two, and three, and now into our chain, we want to go into the fourth chain. So to count your chains, we just look for these V's. So there is one, two, three, here is number four. It's usually right where we left off 
if you crochet to the side or how I crochet, it works out to be right at the top there. So I want to go in, make sure you have two strands of that chain on the top of your hook. And I'm going to do three double crochets into the chain. One, two, and three. And that finishes our row working in to the windows. Our next row is just regular double crochets, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So to start, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and turn your work, and right into that very first stitch, we're going to do three double crochets into this first stitch right by the chain, and we're going to do three double crochets into the next stitch. So that's how we're going to start, that's going to help us work around our neck give us a nice opening. So two double crochets into that first stitch right by the chain and three double crochets into the next stitch. There's one, two, and three. Now I can pause the video and keep working along. We're just going to do one double crochet into each stitch working all the way down along the side of our shawl. One double crochet into each stitch all the way along and I'll meet you when we get to our stitch marker. When you get to your stitch marker, just pop it out and into that stitch. We're going to do five double crochets. So we're always going to do five double crochets for these rows at the tip of our shawl or the very bottom point of our shawl. It's going to be five double crochets. So that is two, three, four, and five. Make a bigger loop so you can take your hook out. We want to find that center stitch. So two on each side. There is your center one. Go ahead and pop your stitch marker in just so we know where the tip of our shawl is going to be. And now loop of yarn back on your hook, shrink it down and one double crochet into each stitch, working all the way back down along the side of your shawl. One double crochet into each stitch and I will meet you when we get to our last double crochet right over there. So now we have our last stitch and our chain. So into our last stitch, which is this stitch right there, and also into our chain, we're going to do three double crochets into each. So three double crochets into that last stitch. One, two, and three. And three double crochets into that top chain. So an easy way to get into your chain, just slide your hook down into that loop and then push your hook into that space and that'll wind up with two strands of that tiny little stitch on the top of your hook. So wrap your yarn and slide that last chain onto your hook, three double crochets into the chain. So we're always going to finish our row by working into the chain. It's super important for a nice straight edge. And by straight, I mean perfectly bent to go around our neck. Isn't that so great? So that finishes our double crochet row. Now repeat that row two more times. We have a total of four rows of double crochet and I will meet you back when you have four rows done. So do two more rows just like we did and we will keep going together from there. So now we have our four rows done. We are ready to do a windows. So to start your windows row, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and turn your work. And remember, you can slow me down just by clicking that gear underneath this video or on this video and speeding me up or slowing me down. So wrap your yarn and into that very same stitch right where our chain is, one double crochet, chain one, and into the very next stitch, 
one double crochet, chain one, and into the very next stitch, one double crochet, and chain one. So there is our four stitches without any skipped stitches. That's how we're going to start and end this row. Now wrap your yarn, skip a stitch, and into the second stitch, one double crochet, chain one, skip one, and into the second stitch, one double crochet, chain one, skip one, into the second stitch, one double crochet. So you can pause the video and keep working along doing one double crochet, chain one, skip one, all the way along the side of your shawl, and I'll meet you when we get to our stitch marker. When you have worked all the way along and reached your stitch marker, you can pop that stitch marker out, just keeping an eye on which, it, which stitch it is. So I still am skipping one and working in to the bottom tip of our shawl. So in to that stitch where the stitch marker was, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet into that same stitch. Chain one, skip one into the second, one double crochet, and chain one. Now go back where that chain two was with the bottom of our shawl and pop your stitch marker back into that space. Just so we know where it is, we don't have to wonder about it or keep looking for it row after row. Now skip a stitch and one double crochet into the second, chain one, skip one, one double crochet into the second, and keep doing that all the way along this side of your shawl, and I'll meet you when we have two stitches left. Are you enjoying our visit? Consider joining this channel. Your support helps me make more videos. Thank you. When you have your two stitches left, that double crochet and the chain, I've already done my chain stitch after my last double crochet here, so I've done my double crochet and chain. So into our stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and into the chain, just kind of roll it towards yourself so you can see that bottom loop. We're going to go in and do one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. All into that same chain space. So there is our four stitches at the end of our shawl and also the four stitches at the beginning of our shawl. So just make sure that they match. If your stitch count has gone off, even when your shawl is bigger, on this row that we just did, this is where we can adjust our stitch count. So you can just count how many boxes you have. So I don't count the tip of the shawl, I just count these boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. And I want them to be the same on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So it lines up, it matches, that's great. If yours is off, you can just adjust these boxes just to make sure you have the same number of boxes on each side and your shawl will get the st correct stitch count on the next row. That is if you are kind of new to crochet and you don't want to like frog it back or rip it, rip it your stitches. That is a quick tip for just kind of getting it back on track. But of course, you are welcome to also frog it back and get the stitch count correct if that is how you are more comfortable. But this is how you would adjust it if you want like a little quick fix. No one is really going to know. Now we're going to work into these boxes again. It's the same row we did for row three. So we're going to start with a chain four one, two, three, and four, and turn your work. Now into our chain, into that stitch right where the chain is coming from, we are going to do two double crochets, one, and two, and now into the space, that very first space, three double crochets because we're always starting with six, starting and ending with six stitches. So there is two, here is number three. So there is our start, 
Now into each space all the way along the side of our shawl, we are gonna do two double crochets into each. So you can pause the video and keep working along. Two double crochets into each space all the way along the edge of your blanket and I will meet you when we get back to our stitch marker. So there is our two double crochets into each window all the way along and into the space with our stitch marker. You can just pop that stitch marker out. Five double crochets into that space. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now pull up a bigger loop and isolate those five stitches, just right there. Grab your stitch marker and just pop it in to that center stitch, the third double crochet back, right there. That is the center stitch and the new point or tip of your shawl. Pop your hook back on, two double crochets into each space all the way along this side of your shawl. You can pause the video, I'll meet you when you get to this very last space. So I've worked into all of those spaces, we just have this one space left right there. So into that last space, three double crochets into the space, one, two, and three, and into the chain, also three double crochets. So we wanna go into the fourth chain, it's usually right up at the top. We want one strand underneath our hook and two on top. So there is one strand, now I'm just gonna pop my hook into that space, and there's the two strands on top. So now three double crochets into that chain. One, two, and three. So now pause the video and keep working back along. We're just gonna be doing rows of our solid double crochet. So start with a chain four and two double crochets into the first stitch, three double crochets into the stitch after that, and one double crochet into each stitch all the way along until you reach the point of our shawl down here five double crochets into the point of our shawl. Swap your stitch marker up to the new row, one double crochet into each stitch all along this side until you have your chain and last double crochet, just those two stitches left, three double crochets into your stitch, and three double crochets into your very last chain. So pause the video and keep working along. You want to do that five times for a total of six rows. So we've done one row, we need to do five more. One, two, three, four, and five. So pause the video and I'll meet you when you have done five more rows for a total of six. When you have completed your six rows of double crochet, we are ready to start a window row and we're gonna be doing our windows a little bit different from now on. So we're gonna start with the same chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn your work into that very first stitch right by our chain. We're gonna do one double crochet chain one, and now we're gonna go straight in to the skip one and one double crochet, chain one into the second stitch. So that's how we're gonna begin our window rows. So chain one, skip one, one double crochet into the second. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet into the second all the way down along the edge of your shawl. So you can pause the video and I'll meet you when you get to the bottom or the center of your shawl. When you get to that center stitch at the bottom of your shawl or the tip of your shawl, just pop your stitch marker out. We're gonna work right in to that stitch with our double crochet and chain two. One and two and one more double crochet into that same stitch. So that's the same as we always have been doing. Now we're just gonna do our chain one, skip one, and work all the way down this 
side of our shawl. So you can pause the video, just keep working along, and I will meet you when we get into our very last space down here or into the chain. When you get to the end of the row, we have one stitch left. We're going to skip that and work right into our chain. It's right into the top of that chain. One double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into the same chain. Just like that. And that is how we're going to do our windows for the rest of our shawl. Now to work into our windows for the rest of our shawl, this will be the repeat for working into the windows. Start with a chain four. One, two, three, and four, and turn your work. Into that very first chain, one double crochet, and into the space, two double crochets. One, and two. Now into each space, all the way along, two double crochets into each space. One, and two, and two double crochets into each space, all the way along the side of your shawl. Just like that. So now you can pause the video and keep working along. Two double crochets into each window all the way along the side of your shawl. And I will meet you when we get into that bottom space at the bottom of our shawl. Into that space at the center of our shawl, five double crochets. One, two, three, and four and five. So there is our five stitches. You can go ahead and pop a stitch marker in if you if that helps you. Just like that. Now you can pause the video and keep working along. Two double crochets into each space all the way along this side and I'll meet you when we have that one last space left. When you get all the way around and you have your one space left we're just going to go into that space and make our two double crochets right into that last space. One and two. And into our chain, we're also going to do two double crochets into the top of that chain. So just wiggle your hook in. You want two strands on the top of your hook and two double crochets to finish the row. One and two. So that's how we're going to be working in to our windows for the rest of this pattern. And now the last repeat is just a regular row of double crochets. So I'm going to show you how to start and finish that. It's going to be the very same in the bottom of our shawl or the center of our shawl, just five double crochets. So this is how you begin a row of double crochet. start with a chain four. One, two, three, and four. Turn your work and into that very first stitch, one double crochet. And now into each stitch all the way along, one double crochet into each. So super easy, super simple. A great repeat for just therapeutic, relaxing crochet. So you can pause the video, keep working along. Oops, got a big loop of yarn here. One double crochet into each stitch all the way along. When you get to the center of your shawl, that's five double crochets, just like usual. And one double crochet into each stitch all along the side. And I'll meet you when we get back to the end of this row. When you have worked all the way around and you have your one space left, we're going to work into that last stitch with our double crochet. And we're going to finish the row with two double crochets into the chain. So just pop your hook in, two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook, and two double crochets to finish the row. One, and two. 
snap pause the video and keep working along, repeating this last row we did, our double crochet row, six more times, and then do windows, work into your windows, and do one row of double crochets. So what we're gonna be doing, or what I'm doing for mine, you can insert windows whenever you feel like it for your shawl, you can make it your own. For me, I'm gonna do a repeat of two, four, six, and eight. So when I'm done my next six, that'll be a total of eight rows. And then I'm going to do windows and then two rows of double crochets, windows, four rows of double crochets, windows, six rows of double crochets, windows, and eight rows of double crochets, and then windows. So you can repeat that pattern until your shawl is the size you want it to be, keeping in mind your border will add about an inch and a half. Now here is a little tip. If you get to the center point of your shawl and you are going to be working in to the second stitch and not the third, just go ahead and work into that second stitch. with your double crochet and chain one. And now still go in to that center stitch with your double crochet, chain two, one and two, and one more double crochet into that same center stitch, just like that. And then whatever you did before the point of your shawl, you wanna do after. So we went in to the stitch right before the center stitch, so we wanna go in to the stitch right after. So we went into this stitch, we wanna go in to that stitch. We wanna do like a mirror. So I've done my chain one, so into that very next stitch, one double crochet and chain one. And now we're back to skipping a stitch and doing everything like usual. So just depending on where you end up at the tip of your shawl, just go ahead and mirror what you do before and after. And don't worry if it looks exactly the same as the row before. There's two different ways of doing it and both are fine. And now keep going, making your shawl as big as you want it to be, and we want to end on a windows row. To start your border, just finish your windows row like we normally have been, and chain three. One, two, and three, and turn your work. Now we're gonna be working in to the next double crochet, which is right here. So just the top of that stitch right there is where we're gonna be working into just to start. So wrap your yarn and into that next stitch, one double crochet and chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn and into this space, we're gonna be working right around that post. We're gonna do six double crochets into this space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now into the next stitch, the top of that next stitch, one single crochet. So that is how we're gonna start our border. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it for the rest of the way, so the repeat for the rest of the border. Chain three, one, two, three, and into the space, one double crochet. Chain two, one and two, and into that space, right around that double crochet we just made, six double crochets. Into the space we just made, so there's one, two, three, four, five, and
and 6. Now in to the next stitch, one single crochet. Just like that. Chain three, one, two, three. In to the space, one double crochet. Chain two, one and two. And into the space, we're going to work around that double crochet we just made. So we're turning that into our new space. Six double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. five, and six. Now into the next stitch, one single crochet to pin it down. So that is the repeat for the rest of our shawl. Don't worry if they look a little funny. They will all kind of stretch out and behave themselves as our border grows. So they can pause the video and keep working along. Chain three, one, two, three, wrap your yarn, double crochet into the space, chain two, and six double crochets around that stitch we just made, into that new space we just made, six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then one single crochet to finish into the stitch. So pause the video and keep working along, doing that same combination of stitches into each stitch and space all the way along the edge of your shawl, and I will meet you when you get to the center point. When you get to the center tip of your shawl, we're just going to do the same thing right into it. So just one of these cute little petals. So your chain three, one double crochet into the space chain two, and in to that space we just made six double crochets. So just the same as we did for the rest of our shawl. Nothing different into that center space or that center tip of our shawl. And six. So just treat it like a regular space and keep going along the rest of your shawl. I will meet you when we get very, very close to the end right over here. When you reach the end of your row, you will have your chain and your last double crochet empty. That is what we want. So we did our chain three and we're just going to work into the stitch. So we're not working into the spaces anymore. So into that last real double crochet that we made one double crochet to start our border, and chain two. We're just going to do our regular little shell. So six double crochets into that space we just made. There's three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to single crochet into our chain. So into our chain. One single crochet. And chain one to secure your yarn. So that is what the end of our shawl will look like, or the end of our row. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough strand to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. Now go ahead and sew in your tails, and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I am waiting for you in that video right there, and stay hooked.